from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Many of Jesus' disciples who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? But if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before, it is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the ones who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to live? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel completes the chapter that we have been reading and reflecting on these past Sundays. John ends by saying that many of Jesus' disciples turned back and no longer walked with Him. This is because Jesus refers to Himself as the bread of life, whose flesh and blood one has to consume to have life. This unusual teaching is just too much for their little faith and understanding. Simon Peter, however, declares, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Peter's declaration affirms that discipleship is a gift from the Father. No one comes to me unless it is granted him by the Father. Simon Peter may have been discerning for himself too the meaning of Jesus' words, but he received the grace to choose to remain with Jesus amidst confusion and incomprehension. In the end, his ponderings and patience were transformed into wisdom that enabled him to fully grasp Jesus' mysterious ways in his own life. He realized that there is nobody to turn to except to Jesus because he has the words of eternal life. The reflection of Pope Francis on this gospel underlines the fact that we too sometimes find the words of Jesus hard. It is difficult to forgive those who hurt us, to love those who persecute us, to welcome the strangers, to joyfully bear disappointment, rejection, or betrayal, to endure the inconvenience of protecting the rights of the most vulnerable, the unborn, or the elderly to be truthful and honest. Pope Francis added that it is precisely at those times that the Lord has asked, Do you want to go away too? Like Peter, may we hold on to Jesus even in times of difficulties and confusion. What grace do we ask from the Father in times of crisis? 
Let us pray. Lord, let us turn to you in challenging and difficult times. Let us remember always that you alone have the words of eternal life. To find you is to find the wisdom we need for our daily living. 